In this video, we're going to discuss about the ratios by which a line has been divided by a point. Something like uh, we have a point, let me say A having the coordinate x1, y1, and we do have another point, say B, uh, having the coordinate x2, y2. Okay, and now I'm going to join these two points, right, and I got a line AB. Now, this line AB. Uh, you can say it has been divided by a point somewhere, you can see somewhere, okay, here. By a point P, into the two pieces. A piece is AP, and another piece we have PB. So it has been divided into the two parts, AP and PB. And let me give the coordinate of this P, like X bar and Y bar. So the point P having the coordinate X bar, Y bar is dividing the line AB into the two pieces, piece AB and piece PV. And this AP and PB may be equal, may not be equal. I mean to say AP and PB may be equal, may not be equal. I mean AB here, if you look, it looks bigger than the PB, right? So I don't know by how how many parts are AP and how many parts are PB. Means how much bigger is AP and how much smaller PB is. Or sometimes it may be in the situation AP will be smaller and uh, PB will be uh, PB will be larger. So let me suppose like AP is M1 part, right? And PB is M2 part. I'm going to say this P point is dividing the whole AB line into the ratio M1 ratio M2. Okay, by this ratio, the point P is dividing AB line. And now question is saying find out this ratio m1 ratio m1 ratio m2 this p point is dividing the line ab so for this you know we have to use the section formula actually we have the two method one is section formula and another is modified version of the section formula which is a little bit easier i feel right? and i recommend also many people but sometimes you know uh, like uh, doing with the multiple uh, methods sometimes students get confused uh, no 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 like don't teach me another method just teach me only one method that with which you know I can do each and every problem if you say then you just have to learn section formula just learn the section formula you know just by using the section formula you can almost solve almost all problems you know yeah in this uh, in this exercises that we're going to talk for a few few days and uh, if you use like modify version of the section formula sometimes it may make you easier and faster to do all right so well depending on the cases i will tell you which one is better and which one is uh, uh, less preference in uh, uh, depending on the questions right so let's talk about the method first by using the section formula so i hope uh, you are remembering the section formula section formula means you know the how a point is secting or you can say intersecting or dividing a point uh, a, a line so here point p is dividing the line ab uh, into the two parts part ab right part AB and part PB okay so for that uh, the our section formula says the coordinate X coordinate and Y coordinate as right if this is M1 ratio and M2 ratio then let's um, uh, first talk about this X bar so it will be M1 times X2 right if you're taking M1 they need to take X2 another part plus M2 times X1 now if you're taking M2 you need to take X1 just deal with the x coordinate first and we'll be dealing about the y coordinate later. So m1 x2 m2 x1 whole divided by m1 plus m2. So this was your x coordinate means we, we finished the x bar. Now let's talk about the y bar this part. Okay. Uh, it It is something like this. Again same you know just x2 and x1 will be replaced by y2 and y1. If you're taking m1 then you have to choose y2 and if you're choosing m2 then you have to choose y1 and then divided by m1 plus m2 it's pretty simple you know and easy, you can easily remember one two will come always you know if you're choosing one like in the ratio if you're choosing one then in the coordinate you need to choose two in the ratio if you're choosing two then in the coordinate you need to choose one so one two two one you know one two two one and in denominator both you need to add one two two one one two two one all right i hope you understand it one two two one you know one two two one here also one two two one it's pretty simple well now this is a section formula and uh, depending on the questions right uh, if you have uh, both coordinate like this coordinate also you know this coordinate also you know and you know uh, either of them like either you know x bar or y bar then just equate suppose if you have x bar then what you'll do 
you will just equate x bar equals to this this formula you will be writing uh, m1 like 1 2 you know so 1 2 it means now x2 1 2 2 1 so m2 x1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 just equate the x coordinate and the y coordinate uh, I mean x coordinate of both side you know so from here if you solve it because you know x bar you know here according to the question uh, you'll be knowing this x bar you'll be knowing uh, m1 and m2 you need to find out here so uh, this will not be given and you know the x2 also you know x1 also and from here by solving you know you can easily find out like something like this m1 over m2 you'll be finding out and that is your actually ratio m1 ratio m2 right but sometime you may not be you might not be getting this x bar so in that case you have to equate the y coordinates so if you're equating y coordinate what you'll get again m1 y2 1 2 2 1 2 1 all divided by m1 plus m2 all right now if you divide this again i mean uh, if, if, if you do in this way by solving this expression you know you can easily find out m1 over m2 and once you get m1 over m2 that's your ratio all right but if you do in this way you know we have a hake you know a kind of like if you're solving uh, by this method by, by, by this uh, uh, by equating the y coordinate or by equating the x coordinate you need to verify it you know in another one like if you solve and you got the, you got the ratio m1 over m2 something all right and then finally you know what you have to do you have to put the values here m1 and m2 and then you need to show whether the left hand side is equal with right hand side or not and if it is equal then your whatever the ratio you are finding out that is right otherwise it may be wrong right uh, so a kind of hey it is but if you use the modified version that I'm going to talk after this, there is no problem at all. You don't have to suffer this kinds of hacks, you know. Simple. Just, just, just find out the ratio. That's it. That's very simple. Now, uh, another matter let me discuss. Uh, we'll be giving a good example later. We'll be talking uh, about the examples, how we need to do. But first, let me give you a theoretical part. In that case, you know what we used to do? Uh, like... Uh, as I said, this is modified version of section formula. So we, we imagine like this part, you know, this complete part, this part is lambda, right? That is, this is called lambda ratio one method also. Many people say lambda and this part we imagine is one part. So one part, you know, one ratio is lambda. Lambda is some number you just imagine, you know, a, a number that we need to find out. And another is one. So what are we going to do now? This section formula is going to modify by m1 will be modified by lambda and m2 will be modified by 2. We are just going to change the value of m1 and m2. So by doing so, you know, only one will be variable, lambda will be variable and you can easily find out the lambda value. So now I'm just going to change the section formula and now my new modern section formula, modernized or you can say revolutionized section formula will be x bar and uh, y bar is going to be now equal with so this m1 is replaced by lambda so it is lambda and this is x2 lambda x2 plus since m2 is actually 1 you know so 1 times x1 that is x1 only divided by m1 that is lambda and m2 that is 1 so lambda plus 1 and another is same you know similarly like this so m1 will be replaced by lambda and m2 will be replaced by 1 so lambda y2 plus y1 whole divided by again lambda plus 1 so this is another formula another type of section formula you can see so here now depending on the situation uh, you equate x bar or you equate y bar so here if you get x bar you'll get simple you know lambda x2 plus x1 divided by lambda plus 1 all right and if you're getting y bar then you'll get lambda y2 plus it's not lambda it's y1 divided by lambda plus 1 so you equate either you know either you're going to equate x bar or y bar you'll find out the value of lambda once you find out the value of lambda you know the ratio is lambda ratio 1 so you can easily find out right so this is the method uh, two methods I discussed one is section formula another is a little bit modernized uh, 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 a kind of you know transformed uh, changed uh, you know uh, section formula here we have an example let's let's try to solve this problem 
okay question is saying here in what ratio does the x-axis divide the line segment joining the points 2 comma minus 3 and 5 6 and also find the coordinates of the point of intersection well now let me uh, try to figure out you know in in whenever whenever any questions you have in coordinate geometry chapter first try to make the figure of that so I'm also going to make a figure here suppose this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis and as the question is saying uh, we have the two points one is 2 comma minus 3 so it will be 1 2 2 comma minus 3 1 2 3 something like here this is my point this is my point 2 comma minus 3 let me give the points name a another is 5 comma c 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is somewhere somewhere like this so this is my point B whose coordinate is 5 comma 6 and now uh, what the further question is saying uh, x-axis is dividing the line segment so let's join this first two line oh, set. okay we joined the line now we have the AB line and here this x-axis is dividing right uh, well here one two three at the third point it looks but it may be right it may not be right so let me give uh, this point is uh, something x coordinate zero well you know they are giving here x axis means a clue they are giving like in the x axis your y coordinate is always zero exactly because you're not moving a little bit up or down you're not moving so it means you are on the x-axis and always an x-axis your y coordinate is zero so you've got the clue here right what I had said earlier here like depending on the situation you may have to equate the y-axis or you may have to equate the uh, uh, x-axis now see you know the both a point b point you know and you, you don't know the x coordinate because that's why you have written x comma zero and here zero it since it is in the x-axis means y coordinate is zero now you're going to equate here y bar right so here we need to use this part all right if you're using by the section formula method and if you use the modern modernized formula section formula well then you need to use this one so we'll be doing one by one like one by one we'll be doing so simply like uh, as I have uh, taken here uh, x, uh, x x comma zero so using section formula you know simply using section formula first I'm doing by the using section formula using section formula Oh my god, what a bad handwriting. Well, if you use section formula, so your y bar will be equals to yes, one, two, two, one. It means m1 y2 plus m2 y1. One, two, two, one divided by m1 plus m2. First, by using section formula. So here, let me suppose this is your x1 and y1, right? This is x1 and y1. And this is your x2 and y2. So if you choose so, this part will be your m1, and this part will be your m2. So what you're gonna get? You're gonna get uh, zero. Your y coordinate is zero here. So m1 times y2. Y2 is your six, and then plus m2. M2 is your uh, M2 only that you need to find out and Y1 is your Y1 is your minus 3 right minus 3 and then whole divided by M1 plus M2 so now 0 times this whole quantity will be 0 and you'll get 6 M1 minus 3 M2 so same thing you can write something like this uh, this 6 m1 is equal with 3 m2 or you can say m1 this is your m1 right and this m2 is coming down of this so you'll get m1 over m2 equals to 3 and this 6 is coming down of the 3 so you'll get 6 all right so 3 times 1 and 3 times 2 so what do you get m1 over m2 is 1 over 2 hey you got the ratio your ratio is going to be m1 ratio m2 is going to be 1 ratio 2 you, you you got the ratio right so what was the 
ratio? Yeah. So this was one ratio and this was two part. So this much was one part, right? This much was one part and this much was two part. We got the ratio. If you use another modernized formula that I told you, right? If you if you use the lambda one ratio, then what happens? This M1 will be lambda part, right? And this will be one part. So let me suppose this is lambda part. Mm, another color. This is your lambda part and this is your one part. So if you use that way, so your y bar will be lambda into y2 plus uh, you need to like explanation or you can say like statements you can write. Suppose uh, the y coordinate uh, divides the line joining points a and b uh, into the lambda ratio 1. You need to states like that initially and then use this formula lambda y2 plus uh, y1 divided by lambda plus 1 and see very shortcut it is you know simply you'll get it 0 and what is your lambda we don't know but we know the y2 that is y2 is here 6 right lambda into 6 and then plus y1 that's minus 3 right and divided by lambda plus 1 so when lambda plus 1 will go this side 0 times this will be 0 so that's 0 and here you'll get like 6 6 lambda minus 3 so it means 3 will come this side you'll get 6 lambda it means 3 over 6 equals to lambda it means 1 over 2 equals to lambda you got the value of lambda right so your ratio will be what so ratio as we had said that is yes that is lambda ratio 1 it means half ratio 1 and if you write in the whole number, it will be one ratio two. All right? You're going to multiply. You're going to multiply both sides by two. Here also by two. Here also by two. So two and two will cancel out, and you'll get here two. Right? Half ratio one, or the, uh, saying one ratio two is the same thing. So you got the ratio. So it was pretty simple. I hope you understand this, and we'll be doing a couple of more problems, and that will definitely give you more concept, and even you can you know easily find out the ratio by which uh, a point divide a line. You know. Or uh, you can say uh, one axis, either x axis or y axis divides the line uh, which is going to intersect that axis. All right. So we'll be meeting in the next video, and definitely they'll we'll be doing uh, some more complex problems that will give you more concepts. We'll be meeting in the next video. Goodbye.